Hello, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Fresh, and I'm back with another video so don't forget to comment like subscribe hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video when i do upload and don't forget to share my videos wherever with whoever so they know you're rock switch girl shout out to my 237 subbies i love each and every one of you y'all know you're my precious babies and my baby booze okay if you're new here hello welcome i'm your girl precious this is the precious b channel if you've been here before, what it do, baby boo? Shout out to you. And if you've been watching my content but have not subscribed yet, friend, what you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell button so you know when my videos go live. Because even though they're pre-recorded, they premiere live. As well as hitting the thumbs up. Okay, that helps recommend my videos to other people in the algorithm, okay? So they can come over here and kick it with your girl too, okay? Y'all already know what I'm going to tell you. Even if it ain't down there, look for my perfectly curated playlist. But you will find the links to the IG and the Facebook, okay? My perfectly curated playlist can be found in the playlist tabs. Reviews and etc. Just my two cents. Uh, what your bought hauls. Um, new hair who this. What you sipping on. What's your scent. Drag race vlog. Miss Bridgerton. Black cinema. Auntie outside. And what you're reading. Okay? And a plethora of other things if you go over there and click. Okay, so without further ado, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. So happy Just My Two Cents Tuesday. Y'all was technically supposed to get this video last week, but the vibes was off. Okay, and that's all we'll say. The vibes was just off, right? And I felt like I needed more time to get into the things of the things so I could come and fully give y'all my full immersed review of this project. That is, of course, for Sabrina Carpenter's Short and Sweet album. I believe this is her fifth studio album. And I know a lot of you guys were introduced to her through her music, but I knew who she was because of the reboot of Boy Meets World, Girl Meets World on Disney Channel, and Disney ruined that show, okay? I'm going to admit it. Disney ruined that show. It had the potential to be great, and Disney ruined but nonetheless sabrina carpenter came out on top and she has given us bops okay short and sweet is a 12 album project from sabrina carpenter and out of those 12 songs i liked 10 now that doesn't mean that the whole album isn't you know playthrough worthy because it is it's just two of the songs they just mm, i didn't vibe with them you know what i'm saying and i listened to the album enough to know I wasn't going to download those two songs. But we are going to talk about the 10 songs that I did like. And yes, if you're wondering, this album is indeed a 10 out of 10. Because again, it is a full playthrough. It's just those two songs that I didn't pick. They just, they weren't for me, okay? And again, not everything will be for everybody. But I am going to tell you guys the name of all 12 of her songs. And then we're going to get into the 10 that I downloaded, okay? Um... <laughs> okay so um her first one is called taste we have please 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 good graces sharpest tool coincidence bad kim espresso dumb and poetic slim pickings juno lie to girls and don't smile okay so those are all 12 of the songs, but we're going to get into the ones that I like. So, of course, we're going to start with Taste. Which, by the way, the fact that that video is paying homage to Death Becomes Her. Chef's Kiss. Death. Oh, I leave quite an impression. Five feet to be exact. I was like, yes for the short girlies. Toes are missing. My body's where they're at. You're, you're still laying next to me. One degree of separation. I heard you back together. Mm -hmm. It's true. I hope it doesn't taste me when it's kissing you. Mm -hmm. No, you do. Kiss me too. 
Now, the streets is saying that she wrote this song about Shawn Mendes because apparently they was hunching. And then he broke up with her to go hunch on that girl I don't like who was in Fifth Harmony with Normani. I live for the petty. If any of this is true. I uh, said allegedly because I don't know. Um, you're still laying next to me. One degree of separation. I heard you back together. And if it's true, you'll resist and hate me when it's kissing you. Whatever and if you do, face me too. Depending on how old you is, y'all remember Poetic Justice? If you know what I'm talking about, this literally is the pop girly version of what that lady told that lady in that scene on Poetic Justice. That's immediately what I thought about the first time I heard this. I said, the question is, what is she saying? Back right together, if it's true. When it's kissing you forever, and it's you, taste me too. But yes, that's literally the vibe it gives. Again, if you have not seen that scene in Poetic Justice, um, I don't know if it's on YouTube. In the hair salon. Matter of fact, just YouTube every time you kiss him on so just YouTube this. Can y'all see it? So YouTube that. And literally when you you're gonna be like, yeah. So that's literally the vibes of taste. Because every time you kiss him, yeah, <laughs> that, that's the vibes little mama was giving me, y'all. That was the vibes. The first time I listened to Taste, I was like, oh. Now, please, please, please is basically her telling this dude, like, I like you. And all the stuff that's going on with you, but friend, don't break my heart because I'm going to turn into a crazy person. Because the video had the dude who I think everybody believes she might allegedly be dating um, he a cute man. I think he an Irish actor or something. He was in some child. I don't know. Um, he cute or whatever. And basically, yeah, I like this. Please, please, please. Mm-hmm. I'm right. Please, please. Don't prove me right. And I love all her songs are more than two minutes long. And y'all know how I feel about songs when they're longer than two minutes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, no, 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 Way. Yeah, so please just basically say don't embarrass me in front of these people, okay? My my family and my friends is already saying they feel like you ain't shit. And I don't need you proving to them that I got bad judgment for real. So please, please, please don't prove them right. Okay, so I definitely understand that because we didn't all been there. We done fell in love with an Asian person, and in our mind, he's different. He'll change, and then he bruises you, no know, bitch. He will not. <laughs> no matter how many times you're back, he's not gonna change. Not 
for you or anybody else. He got to change for himself. So, yes. I like please, please, please. Good Graces is giving a little R&B vibe. And this is my jam. This is a dance song. You know what talk about you? Here you go. When I met you. Oh, Good Grace is the third song. As goodbye. Advice. My good graces, like that. Love it to the hatred, complicated. My good graces, the kind of loving and the hatred. No fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. I won't give a fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. Wow. Flowers. Me. No. Hi. Bye, yeah, yeah. This is my favorite point that bye, yeah, yeah gets me. My good graces. And the boys in turn and loving in a hatred. It's not that complicated. Saying my good graces. Like that. Crazy. Then turn and love it in a hatred. Give a fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. I won't give a fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. Give a fuck about you. Mm -hmm. Y'all figured out what my favorite song was? <laughs> like, Good Graces is my shit. Because, like, I was like, oh my god, this is my theme song. Because I don't play that shit. Like, either you do, like you're supposed to do, because there are rules over here. Right? And it ain't too much. Okay? Come healed. Come ready to communicate. Respect my boundaries. Love me. But love yourself, too. And don't play in my face. Okay? Honesty is the best policy, friend. And y'all already know my favorite saying is, if you don't want me, don't talk to me. Go ahead and free yourself, okay? <laughs> That's from the book of Fantasia. Mm-hmm. Don't play with me, okay? But yes, good graces. I was like, okay, Sabrina, girl. You was cutting up on them. The fourth song is Coincidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little acoustic guitar moment. Nice, Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. I was then got on the Instagram and I'm like, wait. 
a what a coincidence it got this nice do da 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 do nothing yeah i like coincidence uh back him another one i really like like this is my jam mm. like she did her big one <laughs> This is another little bop song, and I like this. Juno, I love because if you grew up watching the movie Juno, that starred Elliot Page and Michael Sarah's. Is it Sienna? Sarah? It was like this beautiful, cute little rom com. It was, I love Juno, and that was my jam. Okay, that's how we discovered Elliot Page and, you know, his pre transition. And how funny he was, you know, when he was a actress and now he's an actor because he's transitioned. Like, I, Juno was my, that Juno my movie. I actually have Juno on DVD. Yes. No, 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 Basically, the song said, look, you know what? I like you. I may let you get a bitch pregnant. Because <laughs> the first time I said, oh, that's cute. And then I was like, wait, what? J Juno was pregnant. Oh. So, basically, this is the version of, you know, you, you can shoot the club up. I'm like, I like how Serena Carpenter taking just some of the most raunchiest, crassest shit and making it cute. Like, I live for it. Like, yeah, I like that. You know what I'm saying? This is a song I like, but I'm never going to tell a nigga. You know, I want you to make me like Juno. No, sir. <laughs> I don't want your babies. No, thank you. Mm -mm. No. But this cute little song, though, I like that. Mm -hmm. Now, another song that I think I absolutely like. This song literally is like, you're going to get addicted to this. Think about me, think about you, just let me express so. Just let me express so. And no. Uh, and I love the video to this because it gave that 1956 in underlay. Mm hmm, Ration. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's my jam. Then it's dumb and poetic. Dumb and poetic. Mm-hmm. Oh wait. Did I play Juno out of order? I did. Oh. The thing was on shuffle, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> I told y'all to order the song, so y'all are gonna. And this is the song that hits you right in the feels. Hey. What does it make you a man? Hey. They used to say, you over here running your mouth. You're not telling me nothing. Lie to Girls is another song that I love. Because it's basically saying, you ain't even got to tell me lies. Baby, I lie to myself because I love you. You know what I'm saying? If, if I like you enough, I'll, I'll ignore all the red, all the red flags. And literally, this this is what 20-year-old's music is supposed to be like. It's supposed to be cutesy, fun, petty with a little bit of that real shit in there. Mm. Oh, if y'all hear noise, my mama vacuuming. I normally don't film when she's cleaning. But she decided to, we went and ran errands today. So now she's clean. To love you. They'll just lie to themselves. I do it. anyone else. Yes. And Don't Smile is probably the most beautiful song to end the album. Like, I loved every minute of Don't Smile. Cause it happened, babies. Because it's over. Time is hold her. Cry because it's over. Think about it every time you hold her. Happy. 
and baby cry because it's over. Yes, so those 10 songs took you on a beautiful range of emotions from upbeat and petty to lovey dovey, realistic, and realizing that you know what, you really wasn't the one for me. And you know what, I'm not going. So, you know, let, let you fuck up my vibe and my feels or whatever. But I definitely give Short and Sweet by Sabrina Carpenter. Oh, and I'll insert the picture of the album art. A 10 out of 10, even though, of course, like I said, there were two songs I didn't particularly care for. But the fact that I did, I do have 10 songs that I can play all the way through. Front to back. Back to front. She did that. Um, I love the fact that she is getting the mainstream recognition she deserves. I know she has, I want to say, like, four, five, four or five other albums, I believe, she put out. And this is the one. I pray this gets, you know, the Grammy, um, nominations and everything it deserves. If she wins, like, Best Pop Vocal or Best Pop Performance for Espresso, or even taste, I am going to be ecstatic for her because those are my those are my two favorite songs. I'm and good graces, but Expresso and Taste have music videos, um, and she's performed them. So yeah, um, of course her. I believe her entire album should win something. You know what I'm saying? I hope she also submitted for best new artist category as well. Um, yes, I can't wait for the Grammys. I hope Sabrina's team submitted so she can get her, her Grammy noms and, you know, hopefully she wins and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, y'all, that was my quick or not so quick, depending how you feel, review on Sabrina Carpenter's Short and Sweet. I highly recommend it. Go listen to it. Um, if you happen to run across this review after, um... It's already aired. You can go ahead and listen to the album while you watch it. So you could get the vibes and the feels of everything. But yeah, y'all, that is all. That is it. Okay. I love you. Bye. Oh, you can also tell me what's your favorite song down below in the comments. So we could we can talk about it. Okay. I love you. Bye.